Hey everyone, Checklist here with another F4 WISO guide. This time we're taking a look at using the inertial navigation system for waypoint navigation, as well as learning how to correct the drift that occurs in these systems over time and after hard maneuvers. For the purposes of this instruction, we'll be on the tarmac at Beirut and we'll use Rayak and Wuja Al Hajar airfields as our waypoints. To begin, we need to select a navigation input. The navigation input switch is to the right of the bearing distance heading indicator, or BDHI. Ensure that the navigation input switch is in the down position for INS navigation. On the aft end of the navigation computer panel, the navigation computer knob has five positions, off, standby, target one, target two, and reset. Target one will always display the course and distance to the coordinates indexed on the panel, but target two will make use of a memory function to store the data for target two regardless of the numbers displayed on the panel. Knowing this, we will input target two first. To enter the coordinates for waypoint 2, change the navigation computer knob from standby to target 2 and use the latitude and longitude target position knobs to index the correct values on the panel. Using right click, move the navigation computer knob from target 2 to reset and back to target 2. The values on the panel are now stored in memory and we can input waypoint 1. To enter waypoint 1, change the navigation computer knob to target 1 and enter the coordinates on the panel. Leave these coordinates in place on the panel. Looking back to our BDHI, we can see the smaller needle is now pointing us to a waypoint heading in degrees with the range to the waypoint displayed in nautical miles in the center. Switching from target 1 to target 2 and vice versa will transition the BDHI between both waypoints. Like all inertial navigation systems, their accuracy drifts over time even without putting the aircraft through high-G maneuvers. To correct for this error, we will conduct a visual fix by flying over a known point on the ground and correcting the INS position manually. First, determine the coordinates of the point on the ground, such as a large building or distinguished terrain feature, and write these coordinates down. I have written down our exact coordinates on the tarmac of Beirut just to demonstrate the process on the panel. Using right-click, place the position update fix switch in the set position. Left click and hold the set position knobs and input the latitude and longitude of the known point using the scroll wheel of your mouse. Five to 10 seconds prior to flying over the point, use left click to move the switch to the fixed position and hold it there. The moment the aircraft flies over the point, release left click and the switch will move back to normal. That's it for the INS navigation guide. You should now have the knowledge needed to navigate around the battle space. Checklist out.